Hi, welcome back to this week's episode of What's What. So this week, we're going to talk about something that's kind of cool that actually really, really helps a lot of entrepreneurs and startups, uh, startup companies here in Malaysia as, as itself. Actually, globally, it's just a phenomenon. So we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about what an incubator is as well as what an accelerator is. So what an accelerator is, essentially, an accelerator actually helps accelerate the growth of a startup, right? And an incubator practically helps incubate. So think of it in this way where we talk about one incubating chicken eggs and one more accelerated growth of let's say bean sprouts for example you know that kind of thing so let's get right down into it so first things first we're going to talk about an an oh my god we're going to talk about an, an accelerator essentially an accelerator actually runs programs where practically a startup company or an entrepreneur itself comes in with or, an already set product kind of thing so it helps accelerate the growth of that startup's product or service itself. So what it does is gives you a little bit of pre-seed funding, but the main key thing that they give you is actually mentorship and also help and how to accelerate your growth of your startup. So radically the time frame is normally set within maybe within a few weeks to a few months kind of thing. So the most well-known accelerators here right now is actually the Magic Accelerator program as well as the DG Accelerate, which are one of two of the most well-known accelerators right now. Uh, if you want to join the accelerator, one of the first steps you actually have to do is practically and you have to go through an application process. So practically for the top programs, uh, it's actually they are actually very very selective on the product itself. So let's say if your product is similar to what is out there, I mean you have a lower chance of getting it into. So practically originality and also functionality actually really, really matters when you join the accelerator program. After give, being given a small seed investment as well, uh, mentorship, what you really, really get is practically because it's a pool of mentorships, so it's mentors. So these mentors will actually give you access to a large pool of networks or for investors or for people who actually want to buy in into your idea. So that is accelerator. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is actually the incubator what an incubator is. In an incubator itself, I mean, normally when you join an incubator, normally your startup or your company itself is actually earlier in the process compared to those that join an accelerator. If you view an accelerator as a greenhouse for young plants to grow, grow properly, what an incubator is, the incubator matches the quality seeds with the quality soil. So practically, it's before the plants grow. Right, so you come in with an idea, incubator, how to incubate your idea into a sustainable business, for example. Right, while there are some independent incubators, uh, they can also be sponsored by or run by VC themselves, uh, VC firms, uh, government entities, and also major corporations, among others. Okay, so it's practically some incubators have an application process, of course, but others only work with companies and ideas that they come in contact with trusted parties. So, a good example of an incubator is actually the incubator itself. It depends on the sponsoring party. Uh, let's say for example, if you have an incubator for Tune, Tune has an incubator, right? So Tune incubator would actually look more for stuff like anything to do with whatever business that they're doing. Because Tune is such a huge group, they do telco, they have an airline and, and so forth. So what happens is practically startups accepted into an incubator actually relocates to a specific geographical area to work with other companies of the similar interests. So co-working is very very much encouraged in incubators as well. So that's that's all for this week's episode of What's What. So if you really want to find out more between the differences between an accelerator program and also an incubator program, just let us know in the comment links below. Uh, actually, if you want to find out more, just let me know. Look, text. We're lonely people. If you want us to talk about other things, just also let us know in the comment links below as well. So that's it for this week's episode of What's What. So till next week.